Okay, hello everyone. So, my name is Asma Dish Mohamedov. So, we're going to start today's uh, well, interesting presentation. I hope this, like, you will enjoy this presentation. Okay, just imagine that you are living in a world of AI and robots, and all of your daily routine and your job is replaced by robots. For example, you're brushing your teeth, you're cooking, you're cleaning all of your stuff. And uh, even you're combing your hair, it will be replaced by AI. So today, so our topic would be AI and robotics. So AI right now is like involved to our all aspect of our life. Right now, so of course you are already used like this a ChatGPT. This is one of the great tools of the AI. So AI is almost uh, everywhere. So in medicine, in education, research industry right now even in your house so, so there is like a, it calls like a robot clean you might be informed about that so robot clean is also just like powered by AI and even Siri in your mobile phones we also use AI tools one of the great example of AI assistance is a Jarvis you might heard, you might watch that movie in the Iron Man in Iron Man, it's like a Tony Stark using like an AI assistant. It's a great helper of like an ever time. But the majority of our engineers like inspired from this movie. So Jarvis, smart AI assistant, which helps you to design, to work, and also do programming and the basic tasks like without any human assistance. AI tool, the perfect thing. So today I would like to share with you some of my personal experience of AI implementation in the robotics field and how does it work. I will try to be keep it more simple and more clear for you. So and I hope like after this presentation you might change your mind and you will stop to scare of AI about the future. Okay, the first of all is AI is like a, what is a great tool for image processing? What's an image processing? So this is in your iPhone, is it? When you just like unlock your phone, you look at your face, like you will scan your face. Then after that, like a, you will be able to unlock your phones like easily, your biometric uh, data. Next thing is like we call like a, a map. AI help just minimize the number of map. So map formulation is like a, could be replaced like a, all of the AI tool. This is really amazing segment. Next thing is the dynamics robot control. So right now, so we are dealing with, we are working with like this tool. So this is a great experience. So we are working, we are just like controlling the robots without using like any map of it behind that control. So next thing is like a signal processing. This is amazing. Stuff. Signal processing mostly we use for sensors. From sensors, we get the signals to understand, to analyze the signals. We use a kind of like a just AI tool to process the signal and analyze to understand and to convert it, make it more understandable for humans. So last thing is like a data processing. Data processing is, a, <clears throat> we call it for visualization of the data. So rest of the stuff is like just very hard to understand for people. It's like just make it more clear. And also one of the great uh, example of it is a smart house system, isn't it? So in smart house, like we always like to so do data processing. Okay, right now it's like just I would like to share with you so one of the, uh, our nice experience in the AI and the uh, sensors in robotics. So here's like this is a sensor it calls like a tank. Tank is a tri-electric nanogenerator sensor. What is a nice thing is like, a, just as, this is absolutely mm, easy to fabricate. And also, uh, this, uh, without AI, this is just only simple stuff, isn't it? This is absolute mapping. But with AI, this technology, it becomes like a, absolutely amazing. Right now, so we are doing like, a, just a, we are getting, we are fabricating sensor. Then we are grasping, we're connecting to the microcontrollers. From microcontrollers to PC, we are collecting a data. This data 
that allows to us like just to discriminate and sort when we are grasping some object shape, for example, a cube or a sphere, we instantly understand that one. Pay attention, this is like a, just a blue box and a red box, isn't it? So blue is a data visualization. How is it going to look like? We call this as a pattern. Pattern, pattern when it's a grasping a sphere, pattern when it's a grasping a cube, it shows absolutely different, doesn't it? This pattern we take, and also we learn how we use it, like a how uh, to train our neural network. This is one of the great examples. Look at this like here, is the data set collection we call it. For a cube, signal pattern is a different, and for sphere as well. So we're collected data, approximately 10,000 data for this purpose, and now we are testing it. We train it over and over. Now after the like training, it's like a, it shows almost perfectly. So when is it grasping a cube, it shows like a cube. When is it grasping a sphere, it says sphere. This is a very basic, right now, so we can discriminate the type of the material. Is that the plastic, metal, wood, or even the glass? This is a great tool, isn't it? So the next experience, what we had in the AI and robotics, this is a math. Just look at this math, it's like it's insane, isn't it? It's very difficult, it's a very challenging. To be honest, like a, it took me it's like a two years to understand on the simple math, isn't it? So this is very complex for common people, and for even for students, like it's, we are teaching a math, isn't it? So this is very difficult, over and over. But this math is applicable mostly for traditional robots. But right now, so according to our new demand, so we are making a soft robot. Soft, new paradigm robot with a hyper redundancy. So that's why, so in this structure, it's like, it's just, of course, so this map is not applicable anymore. This map is like, it's very hard to control robot by using this map because so much variables and there is no like a computer can handle this map. But AI was, makes like a, just miracles thing, isn't it? So in this research work, so we created like a prismatic consecutive structure. Consecrity is a from the, this is robot, which has like a just, uh, it's coined by American scientists. So tension and integrity. This is how it looks like our robot. So there is like a no rigid components connected to each other directly. So that's why this is a soft structure. This structure can be soft and hard as well. And it has very high payload capacity, vibration resistance, and one of the main problems is the control. Here we decided to use like a machine learning and uh, to control, give a comment to the motors. So here is like a, this is a method, what we call in a AI, it was a linear regression. So linear, linear regression is like, a, this is a very simple, very clear, and by using of that, so we would be able to replace all the tones of the map what did you see so before in two slides? So this this structure is called like this is motion capture system. This motion capture system, uh, I think if you're familiar with like this is uh, animations and like this is uh, uh, some movies and Hollywood movies. They're using the structures like to create some animation. So then we did like a training data and we tested. The first of our test is just target points. As you see here, it's like, this is a target point. So we are creating the points. This is X and then this is Y coordinates. So the task of AI to reach this point without map, only by using a trained data as a human. Human learns by experience, making mistakes, doing iterations over and over. And after thousands of iterations, so humans would be like an expert in that field. So robots would be doing the same thing. So here, we're just finishing, and now it's like a green, almost perfect alignment. This is almost perfect alignment. So precision of this AI calculation is approximately 94% right now. 
So we are trying to reach 99%. But for this robot structure, this is one of the top. We are one of the top leading research laboratory in this field. So this is the first and novel experience of solving of math, kinematic formulation by using AI. So this is a very simplicity of method. It's amazing, isn't it? So, and the precision is almost less than one centimeter. So I think for this kind of like structure, so this is a great achievement. So future robots, one of the main demands, the robots should work together with human. What we call like a collaborative robot, isn't it? Cobot. At the same time, robots should work together and the robots should be safe. So look at the factories right now. So this, is, uh, this is before. Uh, factories built for robots, not for humans, isn't it? If you look at the pay attention here closely, there is no room for human. So that's the majority of the stuff is like done by robots. But this is the factories today. So this technology is not uh, <laughs> it's not a sci-fi anymore. This technology is already available. So the only thing what we're doing right now is to persuade the people that AI is a safe. So AI is a great tool. Even this figure is generated by AI. So I asked like AI, so like, could you show me this bright future using of AI for mankind? It gave me this picture. So robots is an amazing tool. It's a, we love this kind of like this AI tool. And I hope that there'll be features like to build kind of like a nice feature. So AI will help us like just amazing thing. Of course, we have a very big scare of AI, isn't it? Terminators revealing. So this thing is like it happened uh, in Germany, it's like a Volkswagen. So robot it killed the workers. The main reason is like because of like just uh, this is a human mistake. So because like when they in the working space of the robots, the human should not go inside of it. So one of the main reasons like is a map. Right now we solve this map. Right now it's like by using of AI we can provide a safety as well. Thank you for your attention. You are a great audience.